If you're a Mullen shareholder thinking about trading Mullen or just here for the pure entertainment, I highly suggest watching this video all the way to end and drop a quick like on this video if you enjoyed the previous video and if you enjoyed this one. So yesterday I made a video titled The Tragic Downfall of Mullen Automotive. Watch that video after you finish watching this one. And so many of you love that video. The reason many people told me they liked the video is because I was telling you all the truth, what was actually going on with the Mullen situation rather than just sugarcoating everything like pretty much all of these other youtubers are doing out here i'm the only one that gave it to you really how it is with full detail on the on the situation if you like that drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe right now make sure you have the notification bell on because usually on this channel we're just covering penny stocks really good opportunities bottomed out penny stocks so make sure you have the bell on and drop a like on this video so you get these videos in the future this is actually episode two of that video I posted yesterday. And in this video, I wanna rip David Mishri a little bit more. I wanna talk about what happened today. They posted a PR, interesting things happened today. And I really wanna actually help David in this video. I wanna help the guy. I wanna talk about what David and Mullen needs to do to at least pay back shareholders some of the money that, they, that all these shareholders lost due to incompetent management and, un, you know, basically, a management team that is not necessarily telling you what is going on behind the scenes. And I'm going to give a full roadmap for Mullen of what they need to do to help regain shareholder confidence and pay some of these stressed out shareholders back. Make sure you join the private discord with the link in the top pinned comment. If you actually want to catch some big old runners in the market every single day today, we had SPCE that was alerted at 1.20 PM Eastern time. You can see the receipts right there. He, uh, Squeeze finder said he's adding SPCE. It ran 58% from the alert to the after hours highs. He was getting, you know, he was basically getting alerts of volume and technical alerts. And then guess what? They dropped news after hours. So we were kind of able to predict this big pop in the private discord ASST was alerted on June 8th ASST ran 200% on June 12th IFBD was alerted on June 7th IFBD IFBD ran 100% on June 12th so hop in the private discord right now big runners every single day first of all I had some people commenting on a bunch of people saying that David's going to try to come after me for posting a video bashing him and his company. What I have to say to David, if he even was watching these videos, which I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got to be watching them, is to go ahead, c come after me. If he does come after me, I'll go after, for, I'll, I'll go after him as well for his five failed penny stock companies he led prior to Mullen. Two of those companies had their security registrations revoked by the SEC. Two terminated their security registrations, and the last one merged with a speculative gold mining company. David, he can do whatever he wants, but he knows what he has done in the past, and in all reality, even with all the shit I'm talking about this guy, he should really thank me in this situation because I'm trying to get his ass to fix his company before he loses his entire shareholder base. Not that I don't even think know if he cares about his shareholder base or if he care if he loses it because he already made millions of dollars off of, you know, tens of millions of dollars off of his shareholders in Mullen. So I don't know if he even cares if his, co if his company goes bankrupt or not. We'll see what happens. He's got to keep it alive. Otherwise, he's probably going to get a bunch of lawsuits if the company does go bankrupt and, it gets fit and, and the company fails. But he's made a bunch of money on it anyway. So I'm not 100% sure if he necessarily cares about his shareholder base. But I really hope he does. And a lot of people have been talking about, you know, trying to push him out as CEO. Trying to vote him out as CEO. If you guys can do that, I highly suggest trying to get him out as CEO. And try to bring in a new CEO into Mullen. If that's possible. Um, um, but he's basically rapidly losing a lot of his shareholder base unless he does something about it very soon. And I'm going to talk about what he can do and what can happen for Mullen to get out of this. What is going on with the price action? Well, Mullen had its first green day in nine trading days. You're welcome, David. I'm pretty sure that some people played the dead cat bounce, and I'm sure that people will continue to try and scalp or swing this for the future, you know, bounces that Mullen might do. Um, but the Mullen management team continued to show their true incompetence once again today in a very crucial situation for the company. Mullen finally decided to address their horrible stock performance today. And I found it interesting that they 
finally decided to address this after I slammed the company in yesterday's video, but they issued a letter to shareholders in a moment where long-term shareholders are in complete shambles and are very worried if they will ever get any of their money back from investing in Mullen. And in this very important moment for the company to try to clear the air and try to reassure shareholders that everything's going to be okay or whatever, um, at the top of the PR, it says the company trades at a discount to its current cash position of $135 million or $0.03 cents per share. So shareholders got to wake up this morning and look at a PR with the company saying in their PR that the shares are worth, worth $0.03. Cents. How is that even possible? Like, how do they put that? How does that end up in the PR? How did the company let a PR go through saying it's going to be it, the shares are worth three cents? Obviously, that was a typo, but it really makes you wonder if Mullen is a company that's working for the shareholders and shareholder value, or are they working for the short sellers that are making millions shorting this company to the ground? Because that is a very weird typo there. Yeah, they ended up correcting that press release and are saying the shares are worth 38 cents instead of 3 cents. Okay, so, you know, it was a mistake. Maybe it really was just a simple mistake. We'll just leave it at that for that, for that part. Maybe it was just a simple mistake. <laughs> That's a crazy mistake to make, but we'll give it to him. How can David save his company? And... And, and I say, how can he save his company instead of his stock? Because the stock is completely different than the company. But the reason why I say, how can he save his company? Because his entire company has been built off the back of his shareholders. And without us, his company is nothing. He's not going to be able to raise more cash without all these retail shareholders. He, it's nothing. So to save his company, this is, in my opinion, what he needs to do as soon as possible. Like, like, right, like today, like right now. Step one. Mullen and David needs to clear with shareholder needs to be clear with shareholders on how much capital they need to raise to continue business operations. If David lets shareholders know how much capital they need to raise, it could salvage a small piece of his reputation. And this would allow shareholders to understand how much more dilution is coming or not. Uh, but we know dilution is coming. I mean, it's a given. It's Mullen. Dilution is coming. But this will at least give shareholders an idea of how much more capital they need to raise. And when dilution actually does happen, you know, shareholders are not going up in flames and going crazy about what is going on with the share price. Just be honest, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Step two, David needs to immediately buy shares back on the open market and buy them using money directly out of his pocket, not a share buyback with company cash, him doing an insider trade, buying a large amount of shares on the open market with his own money is what I think he needs to do ASAP. Remember, a large portion of David's over $10 million net worth comes from selling them all in shares at, a, at much higher prices than they are right now. David constantly says, and in the PRs, it constantly says, you know, the future of the company is bright. He believes in his company. And the future of Mullen, I mean, you had hard say it was the next Tesla, and he was an engineer for Mullen. So why not buy shares on the open market at these levels when the stock is down over 90% this year? Why not buy them now? It's a great time. It's undervalued, right? The, the future is bright from these levels, right, David? That would probably be one of the biggest confidence boosts for shareholders and it would probably increase the share price pretty, pretty, you know, a good bit if there, if a big insider buy comes in, a form four, oh, David just bought, let's say $200,000 worth of stock or even 500,000, he's, well, he's a lot of money. He should be putting a million dollars into this, in my opinion, because I know he has it, unless he's probably, well, I mean, he's out there buying private jets and mansions, so I don't know if he's uh, smart with his money at all. But he should have a lot of money in his pocket right now to drop a good portion of that cash on Mullen, do, do an insider trade, and give shareholders confidence that maybe at these levels, shareholders can make a little bit of money. We'll see. But that's what he really needs to do. That's like the number one thing he needs to do as soon as possible. Step three, they need to immediately cancel the proposal to change their state of incorporation to Maryland. In Maryland, like I said yesterday, you can increase the authorized share count without stockholder without stockholder approval, and you can implement a reverse split without stockholder approval. This tells me 
If they move to Maryland, they don't care about shareholders. They just want to do anything they can without stockholder approval, even though stockholders have given them, and David himself in his own pocket, millions of dollars in his pocket, given the company millions of dollars, without retail, Mullen would literally be bankrupt, off the market, just non-existent right now. If that big run from, remember, when we were covering it, we started covering it at about 70, 70 cents per share, around a four bucks. Then I started getting very, very bearish on it because of the whole Hindenburg report and just the whole David situation. But without that run back in the day, this company would be nothing because a lot of those people from that run ended up becoming long-term shareholders and averaging down on the company. So he cannot go to Maryland because that's going to just tell all shareholders that he doesn't care about you at all. Step four, they need to immediately cancel proposal two, five, seven, and eight from, from the upcoming August shareholder meeting or completely revise the meeting overall and change these proposals completely. All of these proposals, two, five, seven, and eight, are giving more compensation to David Mishery and diluting more shares. The reason I did not say Proposal 3, which is a reverse split right here, is because it's looking very likely they're going to need to do another reverse split any anyway to stay listed on NASDAQ. If they don't, they might have to go back down to OTC and then the company's done. If they go to OTC, they're done. Hopefully, NASDAQ allows them to be listed for 180 days without having to do another split anytime soon. But at some point down the line, another split is likely to come. It has to come because unless David starts loading up shares on the open market, filing form fours out of his own pocket, paying up, buying these shares down here, unless he does that and a lot of shares, it would be very difficult to get that back over a dollar from this point right here. Step five, David needs to immediately address why Harge was out here stirring up a bunch of rumors about Mullen, including a $10 billion Saudi deal or just a Saudi deal in general. He needs to address the clip that I showed you in yesterday's video that Harge basically just said he was out there misleading shareholders. Harge said, why do I got to be out here misleading shareholders? That's what Harge said. He, David needs to address this directly because that is damning information that Harge, uh, basically a spokesperson, uh, you know, hypothetically a spokesperson. I don't know if that's exactly what he was, but he was an engineer for sure out here, you know, talking about Mullen and all these deals. You know, he just needs to address this and address why hard said he was out here misleading shareholders so that, that's just that's huge as well the name mystery literally means theft and cheating david do you want to be do you want to go down in history as a scammer and not a good person if not you need to complete these five steps as soon as possible and try to return some of the money back to your loyal shareholders that made you a multi-millionaire and that gave your company Tons of capital. You need to do this, in my opinion. Now, keep in mind, any information in this video or in the video yesterday, there could be wrong information in this. Just keep that in mind. I could be wrong about certain points in this video, but I'm pretty sure most of the stuff I'm talking about in this video is accurate. I could be wrong. I just want to keep that clear. Just putting that out there. Now, join Mumu. It, it, click my link in the top pin comment for Mumu. Deposit $100 after signing up. You're going to get five free stocks, $100 cash reward, and one free share of C3AI. If you deposit $5,000, you get one free share of Tesla or Google. Click the link. Click the movement link down in the top and comment. You're going to get a ton of free money. And then join the Discord after you sign up for a movement. And you're going to get a ton of stock alerts. That's it for me. Peace.